going into our losers finals match for today's Sunday community skirmish. Uh, we have the Fancy Cloud Dancers versus Superior Metal Gear Skyborn. Fancy Cloud Dancers have been locked to losers bracket by oh I should by another team which I'm not going to talk about now. But uh, I'm I'm already nailing this intro. Just right. <laughs> <laughs> Who said anything about being rusty? First off, for the Fancy Cloud Dancers, we have the Fancy Hydra, piloted by Dementio. We have a Center Merc Mobula, Dual Artemis on the lower deck, Ga uh, Light Flak on the, sorry, Gatling on the far right, Hades on the far left. Their ally is the Bob Saget, piloted by Spudnik. We have a left side, Hades Lumberjack, Heavy Flak, I believe that's a Mark II, Galleon with a right side, close range, Huacha, Heavy Carronade, and Rear Flare Gun. Their opponents, Superior Metal Gear Skyborne, which doesn't quite fit in my overlay, but whatever. We'll talk about long team names later. Uh, first off, we have the Reborn, Sunstrom's, uh, Sunstrom's famous Mobula with, with the Center Merc Mobula. I, I'm just, I'm losing my mind. I can't. Okay, I'm gonna focus here. Just one Merc in the center, two Artemis on the lower deck, Light Flak on the left side, Gatling on the right side. It's all coming together. And, oh boy, it's another Mobula. Potted by water, it's me. It's the Cucumber Sandwich, with questionably spelled words in the name. Uh, Artemis Light Flak on the lower decks, Center Merc, and Gatling... Stop turning. Artemis on the outer wing. So, Bob Saget, the only ship here that's really going to be able to contest balloons at long range. And his positioning from the Fancy Clown Dancers is really nice. You see... Blue has just has decided to sit in their spawn, expecting Fancy Cloud Dancers to come through center map, that gun you see in the background. But since Fancy Cloud Dancers has decided to rotate west, they now have the cover of clouds here, which means Superior Metal Gear Skyborne is going to be having a lot more difficulty landing those shots, even with spots. Uh, and as you see, Fancy Hydra, the only ship red currently spotted, Bob Saget. I'm not quite sure what Bob Saget's doing. Looks like he's maybe hiding behind the rock. Uh, maybe unaware that the spot's gone away. Because if he could just sit in this cloud, Fancy Hydra can sit out in the open. And Bob Saget could kind of go to town with the Lumberjack uncontested. Because I don't... Let's see. Did any flare guns on for blue team? No. Uh, Spear Mail Gear Skyborne. No flare guns. So if blue... If the Galleon just decided to stay in that cloud... Uh... SMGS would have no opportunity to, to spot them, but instead Bob Saget deciding to charge forward straight into the, the sniper arcs of the dual mobulas. No real lumberjack shots hitting. We saw one going into the cucumber sandwiches. Cucumber sandwich? Cucumber sandwiches balloon. But Bob Saget's under heavy suppressive fire with those Artemis. Fancy Hydra coming in, taking a high overwatch position. If the Fancy Cloud Dancers, you see now the, the situation's kind of reversed with Blue Team backing up into their own cloud cover. So while the Fancy Hydra does have uh, an advantageous altitude uh, advantage here, because the Artemis cannot really shoot up, and the Hades has very good downward arcs, you see them now moving down, utilizing the high ground, Hades dual arts, poking into the Reborn, a few shots going into the Cucumber Sandwich, Bob Saget taking his time to recollect itself, they've rebuilt the Lumberjack, you see some Lumberjack shots, Moving up with the Hades onto the Cucumber sand Sandwich. A lot of those missing. Finally some Hades hooking in. Fancy Hydra using the Gatling Gun, pushing the Cucumber Sandwich back. Reborn as well, trying to find their way back into this fight. Cucumber Sandwiches, his balloon is down, armor's burning very low here. Hades takes it down, exposed Cucumber Sandwich, heavy flak, hooking in, destroying the blue mobula, totally obliterated. Bog Saget, a lot of those shots at the beginning of the fight missing, but Heavy Flak able to connect when it matters, and that's going to be the first point for the Fancy Cloud Dancers. Fancy Hydra taking a little bit of damage, but the Bob Saget's at full health. Reborn being forced back. Forced, there's not a lot of room for them to back up from where they are now. So, Reborn's goal here, either find a way to sneak away or survive until the ally respawns. And interestingly enough, Cucumber deciding to take the farthest possible spawn from the Reborn's location. I'm not sure if the Superior Metal Gear Skyborn is going to be trying to set up some type of dual-pronged attack. 
or if the reborn switch back to their view if maybe maybe blue team was just expecting the mob the second mobula to go down and didn't want to uh turn three points for red in or two points for red into three although i feel like the red team was far enough back in that that initial fight that reborn probably could have escaped if they had actually committed to it but it looks like they are just going to uh sacrifice their ship here give that second point to the fancy cloud dancers and respawn with their ally on the opposite side of the map waiting here in in uh, center spawn for blue also if anybody's watching and make sure if i need to turn the game audio up or down please let me know i did a quick sound check but uh like i said the start of the stream it has been a while so yeah red team Winning that fight pretty decisively. The Lumberjack is just such a huge threat in these types of matches, especially against a dual Mobula. Blue team does not have a Lumberjack of their own, and the Mobulas rely so heavily on their balloons for their dodging capabilities that once the balloon's down, you can kill the Mobula so quickly. It has very little armor. Uh, and again, when the balloon's down, it has pretty much no maneuverability. I'm going to check the uh, piloting tools really quick here. Do you see Drogue Shoot for all the Mobula pilots, not for the Galleon? Uh, but the Mobula, the blue team, very well aware that their balloon is threatened by by this lumberjack. Uh, and now we've kind of reset back to the neutral state of the fight. Reborn Fancy Hydra trading Mercury shots back. Uh, while the Cucumber Sandwich, God, they're taking so much damage from the lumberjack of the Bob Saget. Gee, it's ridiculous. Uh, but they do have a much better defensive position here. They're not out in the open. So as soon as their armor goes down, duck behind this mountain, rebuild. Only took about. 15% permahole, not too bad. The problem being, though, that this Lumberjack, every time the Lumberjack knocks down one of Superior Metal Skyborne's balloons, it, it disrupts their focus fire, and they're just, they're not going to be able to maintain fire in the same way the Red Team can, because Red Team's balloons are totally uncontested. They can just kind of sit up here, and I don't know, I don't know how Blue Team's going to win a straight-up fight, uh, unless they get uh, they have to get an extremely fast kill, probably on a fancy Hydra, before the Lumberjack can come into effect. Uh, but <laughs> some Hades shots being blocked by the Red Mobula. Um, because, because the blue team's already kind of locked down, you see Rayborn doesn't have a great position here. The cover here is very low, so he can't really rise up and use his Mercuries. If the red team stays at this max altitude position, the terrain that Rayborn is u currently using, because it's so low, is basically useless they got we got all these hades coming down but merc doesn't shoot up so uh the only thing they can really do is either again either try to escape or just move in and go for a quick call on one of the two ships but it looks like reborn has chosen to go for the bob saget the tankier of the two targets being a galleon reborn's balloon is down heavy flak uh unarmed so does very little damage to the reborn if reborn's a little farther back that could have been a fast kill onto the blue mobula at the same time Cucumber Sandwich, Sun, Cucumber Sandwich is moving in on the Fancy Hydra, forcing them away from their position. Some Gatling onto the Fancy Hydra from behind. The armor is down. Are we going to see those armor shots able to finish them off? Fancy Hydra's balloon really low from hydrogen usage, so they have very limited mobility in this situation. And Cucumber Sandwich has the <laughs> they had the advantage, but Bob Saget able to squeeze out some lumberjack shots under the full assault of the reborn, knocking out the cucumber sandwich, freeing up the fancy hydra, allowing the fancy hydra to target the reborn and taking them off the Bob Saget. Incredible play from the fancy cloud dancers just watching each other's backs. It's just amazing coordination. And now, uh, what was a really great charge from the reborn, Sunstrom piloting that blue mob that just died. Fancy Cloud Dancer is able to kind of sneak out from underneath Sunstrom's thumb, and this is going to be a fourth point for FCD. That was just that was just beautiful play, honestly. I <laughs> this is this is a great match to come back into streaming. Uh, but that's what you expect. These are the the big brass revival champions here on Red Team. I think most would agree this is the best team in current competitive against Vicarus. But, going into the next fight, both red ships are pretty heavily damaged with Bob Saget just under 50% health and the Fancy Hydra at about 25. 
And blue team, blue team's decide to take the close spawn here at the western mountain. And we'll see how quickly they try to back up and move. And see if they're going to be trying to use this hard terrain or take an open fight. Uh, blue team should be well aware of the amount of damage on red ships because they did get some pretty good, uh, substantial armor breaks. And Fancy Hydra already armor getting low. Cucumber Sandwich's balloon is down. Reborn's armor is already gone. Cucumber Sandwich uh, not uh, uh, deploying the drogue shoot, trying to stay in the air so they can at least because this is a much longer fight distance. The lumberjack's not going to have quite uh, as an immediate effect in denying gun arcs because it's just the red ships are so far away. So the Mercury is going to be a little bit more useful. And you see, because of that, Fancy Hydra already trying to close the distance they do have this nice cloud that they can use to make it a little bit difficult for blue team to hit them and yeah once they have max altitude back here's the game plan shoot down those haiti arcs my gun has better arcs than your gun bro and they're gonna have the armor advantage here very quickly cucumber sandwich down to about 30 percent armor bob saget rising up lumberjack shots onto the cucumber balloon is down armor gonna be down with his next haiti is barrage and they're going to drop down. Some of these Hades will miss. And red team firmly in control of this situation. Blue team really probably needs to just... They, what blue team needs here, they need a sequence of great shots onto the Fancy Hydra. Fancy Hydra's low. If they can if they can hook in the accuracy, they can kill this Mobula. The cloud's making it a little bit difficult. But once the Mobula is down, the Galleon will be easy pickings. There's the armor break of the Fancy Hydra. Cucumber Sandwich's balloon down yet again. And they're just unable. This cloud is proving so so deceptive or uh, so uh, disruptive for the incoming long range fire of Superior Metal Gear Skyborne. And Reborn's had enough of this shit. He's moving in the close range. He knows the Fancy Hydra is close to death, bumping upwards, using a little bit of hydrogen. Fancy Hydra, basically no armor, basically no balloon, but the Reborn unable to get their Gatling into arc fast enough. And this ball, oh, Bob Saget, able to kill them off from close range. Just reborn, just a reborn could have gotten that kill at the end there, but I think the lumberjack, the galleon, proving to be far too effective against these two these two ships for blue team that are very reliant on their balloons to stay in the fight. 